M0FXB. Welcome to my videos learning how to use the Gianpi 8800+. Plus. Let's program a repeater into the Gianpi 8800. So, first thing you do is get it into VFO mode. So, there's VFO there, VFO there. So, how do we do that? See this button here, we got... Channel mode. Channel mode. Frequency. So frequency is VFO. Channel mode. Channel is memory. So we want frequency. Mode. Frequency. Next thing is let's type in our frequency. So we're doing GB3WR. So the the listening frequency or the receiving frequency is one four five six hundred four thousand. Okay. Now there's a couple of ways to add a repeater on this radio, but I feel that the quickest way. And the easiest way is to get it straight into the memory channel. So anyway, we've got our receiving frequency. Now we're going to just check our CT CSS tone. So we're going to go menu, menu. And we're going to go to menu number four first. And we want it to be 94.8. So you look here, it already says it because I've set it. Click OK here. So this is the menu. Click OK. CT CSS. And now we can go up and down to change the figure. And we want it so that it, in red, it says 94.8, like it does now. When it's in red, press OK and listen. Confirm. It says confirm. Let's go back. Put Push menu again. Menu. Let's go to number six, because that was the receive. So now we're on the transmit. We're going to do that as well. CTCSS. Like so. Again, highlight it by going up and down until it says 94.8. Then click OK. Confirm. Confirmed, it says. So that's it. So we've set our receive frequency. So now we want to go to memory, sorry, menu. Menu. And we want to go to number two, which is our memory channel, because we're going to start saving it already. So now we're going to hit OK. Memory channel. And then we're going to choose the channel we want. It's saying 10. If we go 11, look, it shows, because 10 is actually in use. So if we go 11, you got this shorter, you got a bit of a gap here, so we know that's free. Now, when we press the OK button, it's going to tell us we're saving the receiving memory. Watch this. Hang on a minute, we're a bit too slow there. So we'll go menu, we'll go to a number 11. Memory channel. 11, and then we'll hit it. Receiving memory. It said receiving memory, that's great. We've got that part of the channel in there. Now we're going to input the transmitting memory which is one four five zero and then all the zeros so one four five and all the zeros is when you key the mic that's your transmit frequency for gb3 wr uh, so we're not having to put a shift in because we're putting in the frequencies so next thing you know is again setting the ct css tone so we'll go menu to number four and we've already set it at 94.8 so it's the same as before you just hit the OK button, select it when it's read by up and down, and then Confirm. confirmed. OK, and then we want the transmitting one. So we go up to, to number six. There you go. Select it up and down, and then 94.8. We've set the tone frequencies. Now, we don't have to turn on the tone. It just does that for you. So the next thing you know is you need to save that into the memory as the transmitting memory. So you go menu. menu. Go back to number two, and same channel again, number 11. Memory channel. And then when we hit it again, it will say transmitting memory. Transmitting memory. So we've now set the receive and the transmit, and we're actually done. So if we come out and go back into uh, memory mode by pressing P2. Channel mode. Channel mode, and number 11. When I key, look, 145000. And we're even able to open the repeater on my uh, on rubber duck. So that's it. You're all ready and you can use the same system. Let's turn that down. You can use the same system, whether it's 70 centimetres, whatever it may be, it's the same system. You just set, because um, you're putting in the input and the output frequency, you're just setting a different tone. And that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. All the best.